Welcome to another Stan's Awakening video. Today is Saturday and I'm gonna talk about arrows and rokakaka fruits. So arrows, what do you need to know about it? Simple enough is that arrows look like this. Ro ro rokaka fruits also look like this. Now arrows gives you awakened, not awakened, but stands pretty much. And there are different type of stands you can get out of an arrow, which you probably want to know the percentage of them when you try to get them. So this video is pretty much that, and I'm gonna tell you what you get out of the arrow. So first things first, for those who are interested in Dopio King Crimson, which uh, I'm gonna show it to you, but first things first, I need to uh, find it so that I can of course show it. That's gonna be the Dopio, right? Dopio. Let's see here. Here is the Dopio One Arm. So this is what I am talking about. This is an old picture. So don't be like, oh my god, that's not what it looks like before. It that's what it looks like right now, okay? So let me just change that photo and show it to you guys. So there you go. So as you can see on the screen, that is me and my Dopio King Crimson. King Dopio King Crimson. That is only one arm. Now the percentage of you getting this from an arrow is 53%, which is good. That's why it's worthless. So 53%, you can get this from an arrow. Next one's going to be Anibis. For those who are interested in Anibis, this is what is this is what uh, the percentage is. First thing just I need to show you what Anibis even looks like for those who do not remember what it looks like so that, you know, you can at least know what it looks like cuz I want to show it. Yes, yes, I really truly want to show it. So you get to see it, you know. You get to see the you got to see it. And as you can see here, that sword there, percentage of you getting that is also 53%. So literally, Dopey, One Arm, and Anubis are in the same level. Next one's gonna be Crazy Diamond. Yes, Crazy Diamond it is. And let's see here, what is Crazy Diamond? Okay, let me just show you my Crazy Diamond first that I've ob obtained before. Because I've had a uh, crazy diamond before. So let me just show it to you. So that you know what I'm talking about. Now this one here. As you see the stand right beside of me. That is crazy diamond. The percentage of you to be able to get it from an arrow is 53% chance. Which is once again the same as Anibus and Dopio. Which is pretty neat i'd say you can get crazy diamond in an instant like three to four five stands or use of arrows next one's gonna be of course let's see here hyrupant green now i have this too from before let me just go ahead oh wrong wrong, wrong button uh, green, higher paint green. There you go. So let's go ahead and get that so that you can see it. I want to show everyone, okay? I want to show everyone I'm talking about. So the stand right beside of me that is higher paint green. The percentage of you, the percentage of this coming out from an arrow, or a percentage of this for you to get is 33% chance. So you can get higher print green, a lower chance than a crazy diamond. Wow. Okay. Okay. So for those who have higher print green, at least you're better than those who obtained crazy diamond for sure. Uh, that is pretty much higher print green. There, thirty-three percent from Arrow. Let's go to the next one, which is the Stone Ocean. Now the Stone Ocean. This is what I'm going to show you because I actually also have Stone Ocean. This is Star Platinum Stone Ocean, okay? Star Platinum Stone Ocean. Wait, I don't have Stone Ocean? What?
Okay, there you go. Oh, I thought I didn't have star. Okay, that made me a heart attack. But I do have star platinum, star o uh, stone ocean. It's just not pronounced a stone ocean in the video. Or the title is not stone ocean. I, th I, I thought I was going to get a heart attack that right then there. Like, what? I didn't got stone ocean. That's the only thing I forgot. There you go. As you see in the screen, you will be able to see stone ocean with me right beside it. And pretty much the percentage of you getting this from an arrow is 7%. Which is... Mm, it's going to take a while to get it. Next one is going to be soft and wet. So let me just show you, of course, soft and wet for those who do not remember what it looks like. And for those who are interested in getting it. Well, you, you, you can. Because I'm going to show it to you, okay? No worries, I'm right here. Let me just go. Sorry about that. Just go to OBS and boom. So the one at the top of me is soft and wet. Now the the percentage of you getting this from an arrow is seven percent, like Stone Ocean. Next one is gonna be Gold Experience. Now Gold Experience, unfortunately. Fortunately, it is the same as soft and wet. So you can obtain gold experience from an arrow with a 7% chance. And you can get to see it. So this is this was my first gold experience ever in the screen right now. That is my first gold experience. Going to the next one, it is going to be the, the World Alternate Universe. Okay. No, yeah, the world alternate universe. Now the percentage of this one is not seven percent. There's only three stand that is seven percent. That is stone ocean, soft and wet, and gold experience. The world, the world alternate universe, is different. Okay. It's not allowing me to search it. In. What do you mean? Let's see here. The world. The, 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 the world. The world. There you are. The world AU. Let me show you the world AU. Now, the person of you getting this here is 4%. You can get this from an arrow, and it's a 4% chance of getting it from an arrow. Okay. Okay, at least it's much more easier to get gold experience than this one here. <laughs> now let's go to the next one, White Snake. Yes, White Snake. The percentage of you getting White Snake is the same percentage as the World Alternate Universe, and that is four percent. So you can get White Snake, uh, White Snake, from an arrow, but it's four percent chance of getting it from an arrow. Okay, sure. So the screen right now, it should show White Snake. That is the White Snake that I had, or the first time I got in the game. Next one is gonna be Pillar Queen. And like I said earlier with the White Snake, Killer Queen also has 4% chance from Arrow. So if you're planning to get yourself a Killer Queen, it's going to be the same chance as a White Snake. You can get Killer Queen from an arrow. A 4% chance from an arrow. Just the same as White Snake, which is mind-blowing because I keep getting Killer Queen, but I didn't keep getting White Snake when I tried to farm for a White Snake. Now let's go to the next one. Sticky Finger. That one there was so dang hard let me just tell you it took me days to get a sticky finger and i finally got it which i was so happy that so this is me my happy face on the screen with beside me a sticky finger now the percentage of a sticky finger is two percent unlike white snake killer queen in the world alternate universe which are four percent this one is lower than them sticky finger why 
Why is it 2%? I, I say it's pretty good, not gonna lie, I say it's pretty good. But like, why? It's, it's like, I had to, I had to literally stab myself multiple times with an arrow. Okay, that is Sticky Finger. Let's go to the next one, which is The World. The World was a lot more easier when I got the uh, White Snake AU, okay? The World was so dang easy. It's like getting a candy from a baby. Come on. It was so easy to get The World. The moment I got hands on White Snake, The World was like, yeah, let's get it. Is literally. Super duper, duper 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 easy to get. Not gonna lie, swear to God, if you have a friend that has White Snake AU, just ask for the world and you easy easily get it. There you go. As you can see, me with beside my the world, as you can see the screen, pretty easy to get. Memorable, just gonna say memorable. Next one is gonna be Star Platinum. Oh, for those who do not remember, the world has the same chance, okay? You can get the world from Arrow, 2% from Arrow, which is the same from Sticky Finger, but Sticky Finger was damn hard. Next one's gonna be Star Platinum. Star Platinum is also the same as the world. It get it has 2%. 2%. Literally, it's so easy to get Star Platinum in the world from white snake au but then again from an arrow from an arrow come on it's two percent so it's gonna take you a while as you can see in the screen that's me and this uh, star platinum my first star platinum right beside me next one's gonna be king crimson alternate universe yes king crimson is on the list of uh, st uh not stars but like the uh, arrows so you can get King Crimson from Arrows, and the percentage of that is 2%. So the same as Stick Your Finger, Dual World, Star Platinum, King Crimson, Alternate Universe is 2%, okay? 2%. Which is neat. So let me show you first my King Crimson. Or, uh, yeah, King Crimson, Alternate Universe. This is what my King... No, this is the wrong one. Wrong one. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. That was the wrong King Crimson. I was supposed to show you the alternate universe, because that's what that's what this is. Alternate universe. Not the not the normal King Crimson. That one's a little bit different. Here it is, me and my first ever King Crimson alternate universe. Next one is gonna be the Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, which is D4C. Now, D4C, man, D4C is another stand that is complicated to get. But let me tell you, you can get this from an arrow, and that's what I, how I got it, okay? That's how I got it. And the percentage of you getting this from an arrow is 2%. The same as any other Sticky Fingers, Still World, Star Platinum, King Crimson. 2%. And it took me a while to get. Damn. Let me show you Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. This is D4C right over there, right beside me, posing, of course, because I got them. And 2% from Arrow. Next one's gonna be One More Time. One More Time is not a stand, it is a spec. Okay? And pretty much, I got One More Time from Arrow 2. And the percentage of you getting one more time is the same as Dirty Deeds Done. D D4C. It's the same as D4C, Killer Queens, uh, not Killer Queens, Sticky Fingers, The World, Star Platinum, and King Crimson. It's so hard just for a spec. So, pretty much to get one more time is stab yourself with an arrow multiple times in hopes that you get yourself one more time because it's 2% chance from an arrow. Next one is gonna be the one that's really, really hard. And they are in the percentage where you could not even think of staying in the game for a long time. Because this is gonna take you a long time to get. I was lucky to even get them. They were the easiest part where I got, but not really, like, the hardest. They're not hard. 
what I think the the ones that hard were Sticky Finger and E Four C. But this one here, like Star Platinum, the world, Star Platinum, the world, is super duper easy. Like I had no troubles on getting this uh, stand here. As you can see right beside me is Star Platinum The World. Pretty easy to get. Wasn't that hard in my opinion. I got it when I needed it. And it stayed in my inventory or my bank. And I was super duper happy to get this. Now the percentage of you getting this from an arrow is 1%. So this stand here is 1% from an arrow. Which is damn. How did I even? How did I even? Super duper hard. So pretty much that is the next one. Now is the last um, stand. This is not shiny stand, but this is the last stand that you can get from the arrow that is the same publicity as the Star Platinum The World. And it's gonna be the White Sneak Alternate Universe that gives you The World stand and Star Platinum so easy. And that's the White Snake Alternate Universe. Now if I'm gonna show you this is the white snake alternate universe that I got, okay? Easy peasy. I got it when I needed it, and it was amazing experience. I loved the stand so much, I kept I kept it in my main bank. As you can see in the screen, that is White Snake AU that I have. I was happy the moment I got it because it made my life easier, and especially in this game. So this seer is the same as Star Platinum the World, it's 1% chance of getting. Now that we're done with most of the stands, like normal stands, not the shiny stand, but most of the stands, now that you know how to get them, or the percentage of them, of you getting them, the next one is going to be the shiny variants. Now the shiny variants are a lot more harder than you what you think it is, because they're the same category as white snake au except they're the shiny versions of like star platinum the world or even killer queen and that is gonna be we're gonna start with star platinum ova naturally when you get star platinum ova you use shiny arrow not really shiny arrow but you use uh, yeah you use shiny arrow on uh, on the star platinum or the world and pretty much you can use you can get not use but you can get shiny variants of the shiny stands from normal arrow but the chances are so dim that's gonna be let's start with the star platinum over star platinum over in my opinion was not that easy getting from uh, getting from the shiny arrows but it's much more harder from normal arrows but you can still get them from normal arrows and you can get them for one percent so you can get star platinum over from arrow which is a chance of one percent one percent from an arrow is like hella hard and as you can see i was so happy the moment to get it but I didn't got this from an arrow, I got this by using shiny arrow on the Star Platinum. Next one is gonna be the World Over. The same as Star Platinum Over, it is it has the same chance, which is 1%. I'm gonna show you my the world over stand picture. Because I want to. Let me just get that out and boom, as you can see, this is me and the world over. And pretty much 1% from a normal arrow, but I don't really know the percentage of it when you're gonna use a shiny arrow. It's not 100% for sure, but using a arrow is a lot more harder, I think, than using shiny arrow. And you don't need any other requirements than just an arrow, which is nice. But 1%, uh, it's gonna be hard. Next one is gonna be the Creeper Queen. Yes, you can actually get Creeper Queen from a normal arrow, which is mind blown. I didn't even know that. I would have used my time getting a creeper queen from a normal arrow than using a shiny arrow, okay? But 
They already got in it, so I had no complaints. As you can see there, I got my Creeper Queen right beside of me. And you can actually get it from a normal arrow, which mesmerized me a lot. And one person chance to save and start platinum over and the world over from an arrow. And let's go to the next one, which is going to be the EOH Soft and Wet. Now, I know that you could get this from a normal arrow, but you can also get it through Shiny. But the percentage is literally the same as Keep Creeper Queen. So don't be expecting of something else. But let me show you. It is a golden variant of soft and wet. Let me just show. Boom. As you can see, this stand right above me is the, um, the stand that I'm talking about. Now, you can get this from a normal arrow, but it's 1% chance of getting it from a normal arrow. Next and last one is going to be The World Neo Alternate Universe. Oh, this one I think is probably 0. Point something something percent, but it doesn't really say here, so I'm going to say it's also 1%, but I'm also guessing this around 0. Point something percent. But I'm just going to say this is what you can also get this from a normal arrow, but I wouldn't really recommend you to do so. Let me just show you what the Neo looks like because I got it from shiny arrow, not from a normal arrow. But just gonna say, you can get this from a normal arrow. Not only shiny arrow, but a normal arrow, but the percentage is low as heck. It's gonna take you a long time to get it. But for now, that should be it. I've said every single one of the arrows, uh, every single Ten mm, specs that you can get from the arrow okay i've said every single one of them now that i'm done talking about the items i might as well talk about the last one that's gonna be the rokokoka fruit the rokokoka fruit is very useful because if you want to get the uh the stand that you really need from an arrow then you're gonna need this a lot more than the arrow itself because you need to remove the stand that you have or else you won't be able to get the stand that you want you can't use this like multiple times you can't unfortunately you are not allowed to but with the rokoka fruit you can use it and then you are able to continue the journey that you want and that is getting the stand that you want which are probably gold experience white snake white snake au because rokoka fruit gives you the ability to become standless and that is not have any stand it removes the stand that you currently have so that you can use an arrow to get a new stand so yes now that i'm done talking about rokoka fruit and arrows for at least minutes straight on I think it's already been 30 minutes, I'm guessing. Yeah, 20 minutes. Not bad, not bad. But now that I'm done talking about them, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Any question is available, and there's no such thing as a dumb question. But for now, that is it. That is it for me. Thanks for watching once again, and bye.